Today we're going to start a quick series on dealing with what's called cervical genic headache. Now cervical is the neck, genic coming from genesis, so headaches that begin from the neck. Some people just call these muscle tension headaches. When we look at this, a large contributor are the muscles at the very top of the neck uh, that attach to the skull called the suboccipital muscles. So today we're going to do two exercises that are non-moving exercises really, they're just mobilizations. The big rule that you need to follow whenever you're doing any kind of neck work is be gentle. Uh, you're very close to the brain here. There's lots and lots of structures that are quite sensitive. So if you go too hard, it's possible to actually give yourself a headache or make yourself not feel well. So I want you to use very gentle motions. And in fact, the first two exercises that we're going to do are pretty much focused on maybe moving a half inch, a couple of centimeters at a time. All right, so exercise number one is going to be a tractional movement. The way that we're gonna do this is we're going to take our fist or a ball or a rolled up towel and we're going to actually put it underneath our chin. Now I have my mic here, so I'm just going to show you. And then I'm gonna take my hand away and you're just gonna imagine it for now. <laughs> All right, so my, my hand would be here. My chin's gonna go down. I'm gonna take my other hand, reach behind my head and I'm gonna find the grooves at the bottom of my skull. Now from here, what I like to have people do is look down. So take your eyes down toward your chest. You're going to tuck your chin at the same time. You're going to lift your hand this way. It's going to be a very, again, gentle mobilization. Hold for two or three seconds, relax, and repeat. You want to do that four or five times. And as soon as you're done with that, you'll, see, you'll feel some significant changes already in the amount of tension. I'm going to do that from the side so that you can see it. So again, here, chin is tucked. I'm holding uh, the base of the skull. My chin goes down and I lift with my hand. All right, very, very simple. So that's exercise number one. Exercise number two is a non-moving exercise. This is gonna be working more on rotation. The way that we're gonna do this, first, I'm gonna have you check your right and left rotation. And just notice, do you feel more tension to the right or more tension to the left? Because we're gonna reassess in just a minute. The way that we're gonna do this exercise is a cross with our hands. So I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna grab the left side of my neck. I'm then gonna take my left hand and grab the right side of my head. All right, so basically my hand that's on my neck is supporting the neck, stabilizing it. My other hand is going to resist rotation. So in other words, I'm going to gently try to rotate my head to the right, but I'm not gonna let my head move. I'm gonna hold it with my hand now, once I have a little bit of tension, I'm gonna to look to the right and come back. A little tension, look to the right, come back. One more time. And just like the other one, very, very low tension, maybe three to five seconds, three to five reps. After you've done that, recheck your rotation. In many cases, it will feel much better, and hopefully that will decrease the overall tension that you're feeling. So these are our first two exercises in dealing with that cervicogenic headache. 